Yo guys, it's your boy Hello, the Norwegian Hardcore PC Gamer, as I like to call myself, and today we are going to uh, do a little brisk, little light look at the changes that happened to the M4A1, the M4A4, and the AK-47 Spray. Technically also the uh, unsilenced M4A1. Now, the interesting part here is that Val has decided that, you know what, a change that will allow more, uh, more dynamic values to be put into the spray, such a change, they need to happen. I think that's okay, as long as it will get a uh, like a better outcome in the end of the day, or uh, like w when you when you take a look at the meta game of every single gunfight, as long as there's like some sort of progression that will allow more skilled players to practice more and to become by far better, rather than to just hit a, some sort of sort of some sort of ceiling. So you gotta play the game in a vastly different, more tactical manner. Which, by the way, is not a bad direction if that is something that they are looking for. Then again, Valve are never disclosing any di type of direction that they ever want to take. All like regardless of that, I think that like this is a very interesting direction to take with deeper sprays after like uh, eight or nine bullets being a little uh, a lot worse. I think they they are like approximately ten percent less accurate. While earlier on in a uh, quote-unquote perfect spray, for example, now the general accuracy, the general spread tightness will be a lot higher. Um, in which it could be argued that because of the increase in accuracy after the second bullet all the way up to the sixth or fifth bullet, because of how much you're regaining in actual accuracy, especially with the AK, for example, but the, by the way, this goes universally for all modes of all the main rifles, you are still getting a benefit almost all the way deep into the regular 8 spray spray that we had in the past, or rather burst as most people like to call it. Um, all out spray obviously is now going to thus get a lot more punishable, or like I, I guess unless you already hit the guy and it's still out in the blue, 10% won't be too much, and if you're crouching down you'll get that extra little tidbit like 1 or 2% extra accuracy. So like, it's not necessarily gonna be too bad, however there will be thus probably like a 10% bigger room for people people to turn on you, which isn't a bad thing necessarily, as long as it's done in a proper and thorough manner. Um, now in terms of uh, tapping long range as such, I think that this change, especially with the AK-47, uh, is a lot more accurate and thus it's a lot more like reliable, which I like. Now the interesting thing here is that if you are going to follow the little picture that Valve put out, which is uh, showing or showcasing the average stats of the AK-47 being tapped at 250 milliseconds uh, per bullet, by the way, um, I gotta say that's incredibly powerful. That's almost a little bit too powerful for my taste. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but like my final verdict on that essentially is that I like the direction. And for people like Stream, uh, Scream, obviously everybody are mentioning him, he's probably gonna be able to play a lot better. But the point I'm trying to get to here is that, you know what, this change isn't necessarily bad, and especially since Valve did such a thorough job, and also because of how they were making it so that they can be flexible in the future. And also, by the way, because of how they apparently so, if I read this correctly, they reset the recoil accuracy, or the, the first bullet accuracy, for all the guns back to default, and then they made these changes, on top of that, I could be wrong, somebody gotta try and like research that sort of stuff, unless I'll do it myself. But yeah, I, I think that this is like a very interesting new take on the accuracy, and as long as the first bullet accuracy won't be necessarily too much worse, I think that what you, all of us people can learn from playing this game currently is that we just gotta hit the deathmatch more than ever before, so that we can put in a proper feel of how you should really do uh, with the bursting stuff and how you can really tap long range and, and such things and from there on out like only the people that really put in the most time will get uh, to adapt better and, and more quickly and such thus meaning that um yeah if you currently want to rank up don't, don't do everything else in terms of getting smarter at, at the game you also really got to get better thus I think you can probably watch these two videos as well if you really want to get better at the game regardless though most of the thorough accuracy stuff that I've talked about in the past I guess I gotta update that eventually, so yeah, thanks for watching, hopefully people enjoy this video, and I'll be doing a light stream, a very short light stream after this video. Um, if you can join it, you should probably follow me on Twitch regardless, so you can follow me and, and watch me during the weekend in the next one. Um, thanks for the support uh, to all the Patreons or people that are following me around, you people are making this channel better and better by the day. Have a nice day, and don't be defined when you play.